Well, good morning and welcome back to the Florida Boat Guy. This week is all about boats. Um, I was working every single day, so not taking my boat out, just working on other people's boats. I've got three here to show. Um, also, I had the privilege, got to meet and work on Carlos Radon's boat this week. Those that don't know, he's a pitcher uh, for the New York Yankees, so always fun when you get to meet someone famous. And um, anyway, without further delay, let's get into it. Alright, we got a beautiful quiet day on the Intercoastal and Indian Springs Marina. And today working on a 2019 Robalo R317 twin 300 Yamahas. And this was a pre COVID boat, yeah, 19. So I don't see a lot of these big dual consoles, which means they've got the windshield, uh, kind of like a typical lake boat, but designed for saltwater so I'm gonna hop on and take a look a neat setup big swim platform rear facing seat here and just seating everywhere a big boat hard top it's the biggest Garmin display they make joystick just computer controlled docking and then seating up front, anchor one less. Uh, I believe we got a bathroom in here too. Oh wow, there's a lot of space in there. Oh, enough room to lay down. Man. Lock that back how we found it. And try and go find some fuel tanks. I like this as well. Got the built-in refrigerator, built-in sink. Um, definitely a day boat, but uh, with this big hard top. And it's beamy, wide. Uh, with this hard top staying nice and cool under here. So, anyway, not a whole lot to it, but um, like I said, a great day boat if you've got a lot of people want to entertain. Um, these are Balos, are uh, a decent find for the money. All right, I am up in Hudson today working on this Uniflight. All right, we've got this 1976, very unique Uniflight. It is a small little cabin cruiser, and I don't see, I've never seen one of these before. So I'm going to take a quick video of it. What a cute little boat. Driving station up top, and then all cabin space below, and it's not too big. This boat doesn't look to be maybe 28 feet long. Maybe a 9 foot beam, but a uh, ton of cool space. I'm going to hop aboard. First off, got this nice little deck out back. I'd personally put a bimini cover on it. Walk around space with the rails. And then you climb these ladders and go up top here and you've got a cool driving station single engine you can put some cushions right here others just sit up here got his bimini top then uh man this is this is the money down here my best friend right here is my cordless dewalt uh, fan this time of year definitely warm out but anyway this 1976 uniflight um, never seen one before uh, like I said this is not a very long boat but the space inside is crazy um, this owners kept it almost entirely original the original Crusader 454 gas inboard engine um, he's added uh, a little window air conditioning unit and uh, original refrigerator and everything so this boat you know could be a really really fun project 
fix up. So uh, a little master berth up front with some closet space. A little, uh, just like a nightstand here. More storage. Really decent sized bed. More storage space there. Very roomy bathroom for the size. He's obviously replaced the toilet, sink, shower there. We've got the, sh the sump if you want to take a shower in there. All fiberglass and closed. Um, and I really like this wraparound settee that sits up high. You kind of step up to it. And um, you've got a place to put a TV up there. But you're sitting up high, you got full 360 degree views sitting up here at this table. And uh, it's got a little window unit air conditioner. Says it works just fine. Uh, original from the 80s. Refrigerator and then a wraparound galley. With, uh, says he's got an alcohol electric stove here. Uh, sink, obviously refrigerator. Uh, got some storage space under here. Uh, I assume that's like his pantry area and stuff. So, man, for a uh, tiny little 28, 30 foot boat, I love it. This is very cool. Um, so it doesn't go, go super fast, maybe 20 miles an hour top end. Um, obviously the single engine. So maybe a little bit hard to maneuver with a single engine and no valve thruster. But um, other than that, um, man, super cool. So um, I'm gonna get started here. I uh, found the fuel tank down in here. Owner wants me to take a sample of it for his uh, mechanics. So we're gonna do that real quick with my trusty primer bulb, put it in a jar there, and then we're gonna pump the rest out of it and clean it out and send him on his way. So last little note on this Uniflight, uh, owner stated that the uh, engine had been running uh, very rough and poorly. Uh, mechanic is working on it and they wanted to sample the fuel. So uh, pumped a little into a jar here and um, sure it looks like gas, it's clear, but this dark amber color uh, is not good. Um, that means the gas has started to break down. It's been sitting in the tank uh, he told me it was a uh, year, year and a half. This this fuel looks two plus years old to me. Uh, that's just just going by the color. So um, that that explains the rough running. So gonna get it all out. Uh, fuel truck's gonna deliver some fresh gas. Mechanic's gonna do his thing. And as always, send him on his way. Have a great day. That's all I've got on this one. All right, good afternoon. We're back over at Salt Creek Marina District, working in the boat yard today, which is always fun. Today we're taking a look at this 1997 45 foot Sea Ray. All right, as we're hopping aboard here, you'll see uh, that this old girl is missing the original Caterpillar diesel engines. Apparently, uh, they were scrapped and needed new engines uh, when the current owner bought them. I will explain here further. Uh, trying to cross my way over here and uh, make uh, the way down into the cabin uh, to see what we've got down below. Okay, so I am on board this 1997 Sea Ray 450, I believe, 45 footer. Um, this is, like I said, 1997 and uh, there's some litigation going on with this boat. Uh, typical story, uh, a couple from up north bought the boat, thought, oh, hey, great deal on an old boat. We'll just park it at the dock, use it when we're going down to Florida, um, and rent it out when we're not around. Well, of course, this boat ended up being a disaster. The engines are trashed. You can see the engine compartment's completely um, gutted. Um, there's already a hundred thousand dollars just in labor uh, i was talking to the mechanic that they put into this thing so uh this boat probably should have just been uh salvaged i think they sued the broker for misrepresenting it uh but this is an absolute mess but i'm gonna take a quick tour and take you back to 1997 real quick and how do we know this is uh 1997 look at that phone jack how cool is that don't see that anymore so the Sea Ray uh, 45 footer was originally powered by twin Caterpillar diesel engines. Um, we can see we've got a uh, huge refrigerator or dual refrigerators with uh, freezer space, um, stove top here, nice wrap around galley, um, great Panasonic microwave there. And you gotta have the built-in blender. How cool is that? You just take that off and 
the blender is built into the cabinet. Um, so I'll uh, wrap around settee here. Um, like I said, this was a very nice yacht back in the day. And then um, this was very common. Um, I would say late 90s, early 2000s. I kind of have this wrap around. Um, there's another couch area that turns into a berth, but uh, this is cool. There's a second head uh, and shower in the back for your guests if they're staying back here. Sliding pocket door so that you can close off this space. And um, then up front, there is a second head with a separate shower, stand up shower. And then you can access the, the head, uh, you know, if you close off this master berth, you can close that and access to it there. We've got a closet, cedar line closet, and then a you know, just massive um, master berth, drawers. A uh, little makeup seating area here. I actually just noticed that. Um, so like I said, this boat is torn to pieces right now. The mechanic was just trying to find places to throw things. But um, this was a very nice boat back in the day. Um, but, um, you know, um, personally, I don't know that it have been worth, um, well, we're probably talking $150,000 um, once the engines, transmissions are all put back in. Um, I can't say this boat was worth it. Uh, so the boat's been sitting for many years and I'm here to remove the fuel from both fuel tanks. Um, last week I did one tank. Uh, we had to do some work disassembling uh, over back over here to even get to the starboard tank. So I uh, just finished getting in there. I'm going to get that pumped out and we'll get on to the next one. Uh, I'm about done with this boat. Uh, no, 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 no.